the process of God-directed purging and purifying will, of necessity, be wrenching and painful at times. Recalling Paul's expression, we are joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with Him, that we may be also glorified together. In the midst of this refiner's fire, rather than get angry with God, get close to God. Call upon the Father in the name of the Son. Walk with them in the Spirit day by day. Allow them over time to manifest their fidelity to you. Come truly to know them and truly to know yourself. Let God prevail. Consider some examples of faithful men and women who trusted God, confident that His promised blessings would be upon them in life or in death. Their faith was based not on what God did or did not do in a particular circumstance or moment in time, but on knowing Him as their benevolent Father and Jesus Christ as their faithful Redeemer. In the end, it is the blessing of a close and abiding relationship with the Father and the Son that we seek. It makes all the difference and is everlastingly worth the cost.